name is Christina Shi, and I help creative people do awesome stuff. I am the chancellor for the Institute on Higher Awesome Studies. And what the Awesome Foundation is, is a distributed network of uh, what I like to call guerrilla philanthropists. So people who are just getting together and giving money away um, by themselves for no reason, except that they want to make their communities more awesome. This place is an experimental aquaponics farm. I applied for a submersible pump to move water through the system. What we ended up getting, however, was both a submersible pump and an air blower, which was fantastic. <laughs> the funniest project we've ever funded is a group of people in DC who wanted to stage a reenactment of the, the scene in Indiana Jones. And I think their idea behind it was that they wanted DC to be a more fun, impulsive city. So we gave them $1,000. They used it to buy a giant inflatable boulder. Um, and then they, they actually did it. Imagine writing a grant to <laughs> a major arts organization to get that funded, but we're happy to make things like that happen. I like to tell people I'm from the internet um, because when I was growing up, you know, I, I grew up in Columbus, Ohio, but I didn't really go outside enough to warrant saying that I'm from there. I spent almost all my teenage years online for like 10 hours a day. My mom is a database programmer. She, along with almost every other middle-aged Asian woman I know, opted to get computer science degree because it was one of the few things they could do um, as people who didn't speak English terribly well. So I grew up around a whole bunch of women who were programmers. I, I spent a lot of time thinking about how technologies can affect society. I think it's really important to try out crazy ideas because if you look at people who are wildly successful, you know, any of those biographies do not say that they spent their entire childhood reading books and memorizing formulas. You know, almost invariably they were getting into trouble, doing stupid stuff, and, and having this room to experiment and try crazy things. Paul Steven Gardner uh, applied to us with a idea to build a shoe phone, like you see in the spy movies. He had already built it though, so we asked him, why don't you apply to us with something else? Um, so he came back to us with an incredibly ambitious project. He wanted to be able to build um, a modular, deployable cell phone network anywhere. And all he wanted $1,000 for was to buy three smartphones so that he could start building out the prototype. He's been working on the project ever since. If you go to his website, the very first awards listed is Awesome Foundation, $1,000. The next grant is for, I think, a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> I mean. It I think if you don't have fun, it's, it's very, very difficult to breed another class of innovators.